Spain was one of the worst hit countries in the world during the coronavirus pandemic. A new research study by the Institute of Biomedicine in Valencia has used genome sequencing to find out exactly how that happened. Then we have a tool that was not present even for five years ago that we can now use to fight epidemics. And I think this is going, the, and particularly you get this real time yeah. fighting, yeah. That's, that, that's key. And I think, you think in the history of how we fight diseases, in the 19th century we have a huge development we were, were vaccines. Yeah. In the 20th century we have uh, antivirals and diagnostics. Uh, and I think in the 20th century, we will, uh, in the 21st century, we will get this genomic epidemiology. Their study examined thousands of patients and saw that there were over 500 multiple entries that brought the virus into Spain back in February. Events such as Milan Fashion Week, a contemporary art convention in Madrid, and the European Cup football tie between Valencia and Lombardy based Atalanta, all of which involved large numbers travelling. So what scientists here have discovered is that there was no real ground zero for the pandemic here in Spain. It was more like lots of little fires cropping up all around the country at the same time. Those little fires joining together to create one giant inferno which enveloped this entire nation. Their research showed that after the summer, the spread of two variants from Spain were responsible for huge infection across Europe. In some cases, up 80% of those infected, like the UK. The ability to track this mutation so accurately is the result of genome sequencing technology. Inaki Comas and his wife Lucia form part of a team that are at the forefront in their field globally. Machines like these can split the bacteria into millions of elements, which can then be fed into their database to look for distinctive patterns. El conocimiento sobre la secuenciación del virus, si bien es importante en una fase inicial, realmente desvela su gran importancia en, en el tema de eh, la aparición de futuros tratamientos o vacunas, porque es ahí donde realmente nosotros vamos a poder determinar prácticamente a tiempo real. Real-time sequencing does require huge investments, but it also allows the scientists to keep pace with the rapidly changing mutations in pathogens like COVID-19. It's a powerful weapon against a formidable enemy.